Okay guys, today we are venturing in Pictured Rocks National Lakes Shore. Apparently you can see most of Pictured Rocks by boat. So we are supposed to take a cruise later unless for some reason it's canceled, which it is supposed to rain later today. So we might actually not get to go on the cruise but i hope we do even if it does rain maybe we'll see some cool stuff but we also are going to hike to munising falls and miner's castle i guess is the name of it so these are very easy hikes one is like a quarter of a mile round trip and i think miner's castle is like maybe 300 feet so stay tuned for our fun adventure I guess I said that right. Um, if this is an easy hike, it's like 800 feet from the parking lot. It's a paved trail, super easy. Definitely you should do it while you're in picture drop. Here we are walking to the Miner's Castle Overlook. The Overlook has two different spots. There's an upper and a lower, which we did both. Having an ice break. Yeah. And the chair stump. That's iconic. The chair stump. <laughs> <laughs> From the side, it makes you look like you're taking a dump. Okay guys, so what we're eating today is a pasty, which is apparently known here in the Upper Peninsula. Um, it's basically a pastry shoved with meat and vegetables and potatoes. And so we're gonna try it. Apparently these are the tastiest pasties in the Upper Peninsula. So we're at Muldoon's Pasties and we got the traditional, which has the beep in it. So we're gonna check it out. The pasty and the gravy. Mm. What do you think? Pretty good. So, it's kind of like roast beef in a handheld. Really? Beef in a hand. Mm -hmm. I don't care for it with the gravy. That's on the inside of it looks like. I'm impressed. Now we are.
are making our way to Pictured Rocks Cruises. Pictured Rocks is best seen from the water at sunset. There's not much sun today, so hopefully we'll still get to see the colorful rocks. This is the first rock formation that we've come to on this cruise. It's called Miner's Castle or Castle Rock. We were actually at the Miner's Castle overlook earlier in this video. It's the only rock formation that you will see that you can actually drive to as well. This next formation is called the Painted Coves. The Minerals in the water cause the colors on the rocks. Reds, browns, and oranges align with iron. Blues and greens align with copper. White is calcium and black is manganese. The archway above is another lover's leap. You wouldn't want to jump off of that though because the water underneath is only four foot deep. The next formation we're about to see is Indian Head Rock. The Native Americans called him the Great Spirit. As you can see, his chin is at the water level and halfway up the rock cropping is his nose. And then his forehead slants into the trees. This formation is called the Grand Portal. It's the highest formation located in pictured rocks. It's 208 feet high. It used to be larger, about six acres larger, but the series of caves crashed down in 1902. And you used to be able to kayak underneath it, but the rocks underneath it crashed down about 25 years ago, so now you can only rock climb in it.
rock formations are called Battleship Row. The reason it's called Battleship Row is because it looks like a series of battleships lined up all in a row. The next formation is called the Indian's Drums, or they are said to resemble bear's legs. With the waves crashing into these, at about 20 feet high, it's said to resemble the sound of thunder. This is the last formation of the cruise. It's called Chapel Rock. As you can see, there's a tree growing on top of it. The only way that the tree can get its nutrients is from the roots from the mainland. This is our last stop on the cruise. It's called Spray Falls. It's the only waterfall in pictured rocks that runs year round. The water on the outside freezes in the winter, but it still flows on the inside. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.